Hello, my name is Jose Neighbor. I live in North Carolina. I'm an independent conservative. Um, and I did vote for Trump in 2016. It was, um, it was actually not that hard considering Hillary, for example, when she ran for Senate, she didn't support gay marriage and that for her gay marriage was between a man and a woman. And that's fine. But when she was president, she only changed her position because of political expediency and she lied and said she always supported it. But we have her on video videos on YouTube saying otherwise. So my problem was that she's lie about something so small, forget the emails and all the rest of that mess. I just can't control her. I uh, trust her. But when Trump came to office, uh, it was for his campaign. His story never changed. His positions never changed, some of it to a fault, and being really honest and not politically correct, it actually played in his favor. But this round, now that it's been three and a half years, we do have to keep in mind that the media, media is absolutely nuts. They nitpick everything he does, but he also panders a lot to them, which is not helping him. He has not become more presidential in the sense of picking his fights. Like, dude, you have the office, and yet he's still, like, running around, forgetting the Mueller and all the rest of that mess. Um, in addition to, like, even mainstream Democrats and even the Republicans, they're all still not in a high way, and they're only going to attack him. So if you know how the game's going to be played, why not play it to your favor? And I think he does try it, but I just, this, when I was in the COVID mess, we're done with the economy is now tanked. Not his fault, but in the same respect to other commander in chief, and we have not handled this the best we can. Um, I'm actually an entrepreneur about to go and was getting my products made when I even had an interview with Shark Tank, and thanks to the COVID, I've had to postpone it. So um, once this comes up, I will be a small business owner that will hopefully go to a large business owner, and I have to watch his policies and how these Democrats and them handle this. And from my viewpoint, I'm sorry, I cannot, as an entrepreneur, I'm, I'm worried. I'm tempted to vote for Biden just because he does feel politically moderate, but he's not. It's like this Black Lives Matter. I am for All Lives Matter. But when the recent events have happened, that have shown me, wait a minute, this is not what we have been believing. Forget the rioting, forget the looting. This is serious. We actually have police brutality, and it's more and more cases are popping up. We need to go to Congress and get them to change the law. But we need to support this. And instead of realizing, wait a minute, people are actually out crying. The grassroots that you like so much, they're the ones that are also coming out saying, hey, these lives matter. We shouldn't be having this problem. He's comparing the job creation to George Floyd. I don't, I, I'm sorry, it's insensitive. And that's not the kind of politically, politically incorrect, uh, correct, or the brutally honest part we actually need. That's not presidential. We need to be unified. Even if you plagiarize, Bill Clinton or Barack Obama, I don't care. We need, a, we need to be unified under here. And that's in addition to this whole above and beyond the whole COVID mess and being all that, right? We're facing a dark time. And um, I, I don't, I just, it's hard not to be for Biden. I'm hoping that Trump will pull this out, but I don't feel confident in his ability. Three and a half years, keeping all the asterisks and all the investigation, etc. I can't say that I'm very confident in his ability going forward, especially when he's done a few things that pandered more to American businesses, large companies, corporations, um, to the Democrats, you know, by his agenda. But not everything has been actually helpful for the middle class, for the you know the almost poverty. And here we are now, needing money, needing job security. And we're not doing everything that's best for America. I get the America first, first speech, but in this case, it's actually in the sort of back violence. And we're over here pandering to the Democrats and the media instead of saying, put aside your, instead of putting aside our party and realizing, hey, we got to bind together. All of us Democrats, Republicans, let's get this, let's go. And he basically spends his time on whatever different things he's trying to help. But I don't think we're going to have be much better going forward if we actually have him in office for next time. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do on voting just yet, um, but I am thinking.